How about this letter from a fan to the Reds? Sounds like a 7 p.m. topic tonight, to the entire Reds organization and its broadcast partners first, I'd like to say thank you to the Reds owners and front office for putting together a Cincinnati Reds team to get excited about. It's been a long time since 2013. I bought tickets for opening day and for one of the classic uniform games, and I plan on fighting traffic down from Dayton more times this season than I did in all seasons combined since 2013. I also plan to watch, with greater interest and urgency, as many games as I can, of course with the television sound turned down and 700 WLW turned on so I can savor the final season with Marty, who taught me to love the game of baseball since I started listening as a kid in the late 1970s. But seriously, for the love of this great game and all things holy and decent, can you please do something about the half dozen yahoos that insist on marring the experience for tens of thousands of your fans and customers every single night with their incessant puria whooping and hollering? I know it's been going on for years, but quite frankly, the horrible product on the field made it seem like we somehow deserved being beset by these barbarians. We were the laughing stock of the National League, so we might as well let a pack of howler monkeys run riot for all to hear. But we're past that now, and I actually look forward to sitting down for three hours in the evening to enjoy the greatest pastime ever devised by man emanating from the city of its professional birthplace. But when I turned on the game on Monday night, a game against a division rival that was in the fifth inning and the score closed, my heart sank, and the waves of relaxation that were beginning to soothe me after a long, frustrating day were beaten back by the shrieks echoing throughout GABP. I watched, but with a continual sense of apprehension and distraction. The Reds have the prerogative, and the duty, to prescribe behavior that interferes with the enjoyment of the game, and this pestiferous trend certainly qualifies. It's not an occasional bleed here and there, nor is it a natural emotional reaction to activity on the field. It's a sustained effort by a few selfish, childish louts to call attention to themselves by distracting and annoying everyone else, and it makes it particularly hard on those of us who love the game the most and want to pay the closest attention. Would Jeff Ruby allow someone to annoy his patrons with loud mobile phone conversations? Would the Cincinnati Symphony not act resolutely if during a particularly emotive passage of Brahms, someone stood up, leaned over, and began to blast loud farts in time with the music? Neither should you allow the wooing in Great American Ballpark while Joseph Daniel Votto is trying to work. Please continue to improve the Reds organization and honor its tradition by solving this problem. Sincerely, AKH.